All right, guys, got another match play for you here. Um, got Aaron Christensen. Looks like it's going to be a 1v1. So for me, that typically means another one of my early morning work bathroom breaks. Uh, Aaron seems to always be playing early in the morning whenever I'm uh, just getting to work. So um, it's in Lakeside here to start off with. Um, I don't carry an Explorer anymore, so I go forehand stag on this one. And I wish they'd cut that branch down like they did on the spider tree hole at Herring Woods, but kind of a blind toss there. And right about now I'm realizing that, that wasn't Aaron that got the ace because he just threw in there. Big K dog jumped in this game late and jumped in in a big way. So he gets that ace, goes one up, and uh we're now uh we're now need to kind of ramp it up a little bit. We got some catch up to do because uh he never likes starting one down right off the bat. At least it wasn't a mistake on our end, so um Lakeside one now got another little ace run here. Um, I actually hit this one pretty often, so I'm taking a little extra time trying to play that win just right. Got a good look, and yeah, chess, man, catches left sides of those chains. That feels good. Um, looks like, uh, ooh, yeah, Aaron's Beast. I imagine that was a beast. Tossed another PD at it. I just tried to swing the camera around like an idiot on this uh on this video playback we're just gonna assume he threw a pd at that that's a great pd hole but didn't go down so looks like gay dog and uh and i have a little one shot lead over over aaron christensen another one i feel like i can make so i'm taking a little extra timeline on this one up everybody's letting him fly aaron's got a real high play on that couple good looking shots couple good looking misses so looks like we'll be uh, departing the lakeside. All tied up with K Dog one up on Aaron. It's kind of refreshing to uh, comment on one of these on the phone. That's not not on the uh, computer. These games go a lot faster when I play on the phone. I'm so slow on the computer. So it looks like we got a little Nokia beast action going on here. Of course, this is hole number one. Just a little. Normally a stag for me, but I, that wind, I played the PD just to give a little extra. Anything up here in this area, this is the easy, easy hole. Something you throw something with a little hookup, you tend to get a little better, better putt out of it. I do not remember what holes are next. So, okay, so you got number seven. Um, this is one I, I like to get aggressive on. And try to really push it up there for eagle. This is not the greatest win for it. So I'm kind of aiming a little further left than normal. And I'm going to turn it. So I wanted to go right at that group of trees in the center up there. And I just overcook it. So I try to scramble for a birdie here and now. Um, I'm focusing on just kind of hitting that gap right there. It's a good Sampo distance. So I just want to get it up towards the basket. And I do a great job hitting the gap. And I just uh, um, didn't even consider any more trees down the road there. So... <laughs> Now I'm really in kind of a bind. Um, gonna take a little time and try to make this. I'm glancing down, it looks like uh, K Dog did not get his bird either. So hoping to get get the outright lead with that one. Through a chain high, I have no idea why I aimed that to the right. Probably overthought it a little bit. Um, that headwind is gonna, you know, keep that thing from really moving too much to the left. I don't think that. Quarter Andy, you head head right to left is not going to go left. So I have no idea why I aimed out there. It's just a dumb mental mistake. So Aaron got his birdie there. Eagle for the aces are erased. So it's all knotted up again now. New ball game, four to go. Take my normal aim spot there at the bottom of that tree trunk. Put a tiny bit of turn on it because the wind was pushing it a little left. And that's about as primo as I can get from my tee shot 63 feet it's like K Dog was up there good but he's probably kicking himself on that one look like he might have been closer than I was so got one back on K Dog just got to see if Aaron's got a shot through the trees here and Aaron did not get his shot through the trees off the tee um I better go post on a forum try to figure out why that was uh that follow flight was not right I have no idea why that's the case you can see my eye roll there. So, um, yeah, got one back there. Gotta love that. 
think it was windswept. Yeah, windswept was the last three. So you got to love seeing that when you have a one stroke lead. Not a lot of hole separate or uh, separation holes on this this uh, course. So as long as I do my part, shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, want to throw something that doesn't fade a lot. If you uh, throw anything with fade with this kind of right to left, it's just going to go so far left. So it's pretty well judged. I'm a big fan. You can see K Dogs follow. Paul flight up there, how far right he had to play it. He must have played a rive. Must have played a rive or uh, something with some bait on it. This would be, uh, I don't know if I should put a counter up. That's the second time I've tried to turn the camera while watching a video playback from my phone on the computer. I don't held on there to that one stroke lead. Let's see what I got going on these last two holes. Oh, yeah, got a any kind of tail here and i'm gonna you know just do this stock play i think that everybody plays um which is a water skip sampo um of course i'm joking i don't know if any if i don't think i've seen anybody else um in any multiplayer match throw this disc maybe they should start just saying i don't know if you guys have heard of this disc called sampo but it's it's not bad Maybe I should like, maybe I should try talking about it more. Aaron gets his in for the eagle. No breathing room. I forget which par three this is. But par threes are not too difficult on this course. So yeah, number one. Um, straight right to left. I usually... You know, if it's a tailwind, I'll throw a core. If it's a headwind, I'll throw a stag. When it's a straight wind, I'm kind of in between discs. So, um, of course, in true Steve or fashion, I decided to throw a shot I've literally never thrown before and throw a forehand to try to take some distance off of it. Um, it was perfectly mediocre, but close enough to just swipe it in there for that birdie, and that's all I needed. They had a couple good runs at it, I'm sure, um, but held off, so... Thought that was fun. Had a cool water skip line and a couple aces. So good match. Uh, stay tuned for some some more uh, some more vids coming soon. Right, see y'all.